Now the cold case murder that dates back to the summer of 1994. That's when the movie Jaws was filmed. As Les Trent reports, the victim has been identified and there may be a connection to the movie. Does the blockbuster movie Jaws hold the key to a murder case that's been cold for almost 50 years? Until now, the victim in the 1974 slaying was known only as the Lady of the Dunes. The Lady of the Dunes was discovered when a teenage girl was walking her dog in the resort beach town of Provincetown, Massachusetts. It was a gruesome discovery. The body was badly decomposed and found lying face down on a beach towel. Her name was not known. But a blue bandana and a pair of jeans found at the scene, folded up under her head, held the key to the mystery. The victim's hands were missing, presumably removed by her killer, so she could not be identified through fingerprints, and her head was nearly severed from her body. Someone had gone to a great effort to make it impossible to identify her. Best-selling horror writer Joe Hill, son of legendary writer Stephen King, has been fascinated by the mystery for years. One theory he has is that the Lady of the Dunes could actually be an extra in the iconic movie Jaws. Is that her in this scene with a bunch of other extras leaving a fairy? Notice, she's wearing a blue bandana and jeans, the same clothes found at the Lady of the Dunes murder site. The woman in that moment um, bore a striking resemblance to the facial reconstruction of the dead woman, of the Lady of the Dunes. Jaws was shot on Martha's Vineyard in May of 1974. You're going to need a bigger boat. The woman's body was found two months later, about 100 miles away in Provincetown. Just one week ago, police finally determined the identity of the Lady of the Dunes. We can finally say her name, Ruth Marie Terry. Ruth Marie Terry was 37 years old and came from Tennessee. Look at her side by side with the extra from Jaws. Could they be the same woman? I think it's probably the same woman. Police believe the killer might be her husband. I'm sort of fascinated by the idea that for decades afterwards, every time Jaws came on TV, um, he saw his dead wife turning her head to stare out of the screen at him. There's something sort of chilling in that notion. That woman's husband died in 2002.